Hey YouTube, uh, this video isn't going to be about controversial topics like most of my other videos, but instead I'm just going to be presenting a couple lifestyle tips found in the Bible, and I'm also going to show how a couple principles I learned in introductory psychology coincide quite nicely with some of these biblical teachings. Uh, the first verse I'm going to look at is Proverbs 12:16, and this one says, A fool shows his annoyance at once, but a prudent man overlooks the insult, overlooks an insult. Uh, when, you're, when a person is insulted, it's a common reaction for that person to get angry. Uh, your body has natural defense mechanisms to help protect your self-esteem. Common psychological principles like fundamental attribution error, or the way we justify cognitive dissonance, or social categorization, you know, the whole concept of us versus them, are different ways that our bodies will protect our self-esteem. Uh, anytime someone says something that opposes our self-image, uh, a natural response would be to get angry. As a Christian, it doesn't really matter what you look like or how well liked you are, what others think of you or how successful you are. What really matters is that God loves you and you can work on the rest. I guess what I'm trying to say is that for some people, life is all about how many friends you have or how much money you make. But as a Christian, our purpose in life should be to love God and glorify Him. I think if we're able to accept our own flaws, that we'll be able to curb our natural tendencies to be angry and defensive, and in doing so, we'll be better examples of Christ in our life. So, I came across another interesting verse, Matthew 6, 27, that says, Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to your life? And this is obviously the Bible telling us that worrying is not good for you. But what's interesting is that I found out anxiety actually causes the release of hormones that will damage your telomeres, or more simply put, cause you to age quicker. So the Bible tells us who of you by worrying can add a single hour to your life and we've just recently found out that worrying will actually cause your life expectancy to decrease. Philippians 4, 6 says, do not be anxious about anything. I think if we're able to follow these principles, that we'll lead better, happier lives. So remember, God loves you and so do I.